So, we're a week away from the biggest tournament of the year, and it's a bit of a bit of an Eastern European theme today. No, Croatia is spread all over this podcast. Nightmare. God. At least it's not Serbia. That's very true. <laughs> Hi, this is Paul from Strong Too Tight. Steven here, hello. Paul, what do you have here? What is that? I, I just, I don't really know. I'm just... What do you mean you don't really know? It's red and white. And blue. blue. And blue, of course. Well, it, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, there's also these things as well. But... So, Luka Modric, Goran Ivanisevic. I'm struggling to see the connection here, Paul. No, let's, let's, get, let's get going anyway. Greatest country in the world. <laughs> a lot better than Serbia, anyway. Anyway, so we're going to get ourselves into trouble straight away. Uh, That's out the way now. We've done that. Let's, well, let's go on. So, so can I start move these guys? <laughs> Should I leave them there? Move closer to the camera. Yugoslavia's finest. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, we're off. <laughs> we're off and running. Okay, so we've had a fantastic week of tennis over the last week. We've had... Four monstrous tournaments. I know I keep harping on, but God, it's good to be on the grass and get rid of that clay. It's just exciting, well, isn't it? I think Federer is going to disagree with you. Oh my gosh, we'll come to that obviously a little bit later on. But yeah, not a happy boy. Yeah, it's been it's been a, it's been a, an interesting week. Uh, I don't know about you, Steve, but here in Dubai, it was hitting fifty on the courts. Yeah, it's got quite toasty. <laughs> I'm stupidly still wearing my long sleeve tops. Yeah. Not a good idea. Well, no, but it protects you. At least. It pre exactly, it protects from the sun. Should we, where should we begin? Well, we've got to start with our tournament review, baby. Tournament review. This is that why you want you want Alicia to create like? No, a, just uh, we could just do that. Yeah. Was just me move. I like to move. I'm an active guy. Tourn well, we'll wait until we get to to that bit when I have to. <laughs> you, you know that. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll sorry. I'll just do that again. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. Um, should we, should we start off with the Fed Express, Halla? Halla. So fantastic win for Borna Kora. She beats Zverev, beats Federer. Looked maybe, maybe is that a changing of the guard? I don't know. Federer did it with Sampras. Only time will tell. But, well, let me ask you this. Was it that courage was so great or was it that Federer was just not in the zone? <clears throat> Um, I mean, Mentally, when, especially. When you look at the match point, the, the, the Federer volley into the top of the net, you just think, well, Federer wouldn't miss that ever. Well, so, just, how is that even possible? Yeah, That looked, and I know you touched on it away from the camera, that looked like a very angry Federer. Yeah, so I don't know if any of you saw in the semi-finals, he actually got a code violation, uh, smacking a ball out of the arena, he was very angry, he was shouting. I think he had some... Um, some scathing words about the tennis court. Apparently it wasn't good, but it's the same for both players. So what are you getting angry about? That, uh, remember that picture I sent you saying, what's this? The wrist was the... It was that, it yeah. must have been that, because yeah. that was too extreme for, for sure. Else, yeah. For sure. Um, um, yeah, I mean, the, the court looked terrible. It really did look terrible. Um, it's so tough with grass. And, and I don't know what the rulings are, but I get the feeling that maybe the dimples on these Lots shoes cells, yeah. are getting a little bit bigger. I mean, and there must be some form of regulations, but yeah, yeah, because the game is going so so fast now and very, very quick oh, and great They're so movement. athletic, aren't they, now? Yeah, but on grass, how easy is it to turn like that on grass? I mean, that that's where I was saying to you the other day, where I, I think that grass it, it should, grass historically is soft underfoot, yep. you know, it's less injuries. No, yeah, I'm sorry, but at a hard court, you can turn, you can twist, you know, things like that. Yeah. Grass, you, you're slipping over, and yeah. I don't know. Federer, Federer didn't look comfortable. I thought Courage played outstanding. I fully expected him at five two to choke. <laughs> yeah. Would have put my house on it. No problems. But uh, no problems there. Born a Courage, I have to say as well, because, um, because where's he? Where's he from again? Um, I don't know. Can't remember. Where? No. Just a okay, um, but Borna Koric, um, you know, really, really, really nice guy. Mm. Um, you know, I was surprised at how nice he was. Uh, I've had him hitting with a couple of the kids. Well, he's that Croatian. I with. He's lovely. Yeah, yeah, he's, of course he's a nice. Croatian, lovely mentality. He was he's soft, nice. soft and nice. But he was hitting with a couple of my players um, a couple of years mm. back, 
Uh, Bea just is totally in love with him. He ca he came in, she ran away and hid, <laughs> and then and then like I was I told him about her, and she started like looking around the corner. I think the lady is like a little bit of born a he, He's a handsome guy. I think I think he's he's got everything going for him. I just want to see him beef up a little bit. I don't know why. I just think the fit. Just maybe it's not. Maybe he's going to be someone like a Jill Simon, a Goffan type of frame. But I just want to see him a bit beefier. Maybe so in five set tournaments in Grand Slams he can maybe go a distance. But he had a few three sets matches and he came through. So I like his game. I like how he plays. He's a nice guy. I'm rooting for him again. I think he's going to be top five, top ten for a while. No, oh, I mean, do sure. you remember when he murdered Andy Till, at, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. in Dubai? I mean, that was that was a was it one and love or love and war something like that. It was it was a massacre. Come on. Uh, but yeah, he's he's a great player and he's had a very good season. He's he's uh, he did quite well in the North American. Yeah, uh, tournaments. You know, did pretty well in Dubai. He, he's he's a very good player. We've kind of been waiting for him because he, he broke through. He, a he bit. broke through way before Zverev and and team, team and and Kyrgios even. So you know, I mean, in five years' time, you literally we could be talking those about four people, those four. Yeah. Sit to pass maybe in there. Sit to pass. Lovely, 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 lovely um, And then in the doubles, Kuba and Melo beat the Zverev brothers. Which is pretty. You know, I would expect that to happen. Yeah, it was all right. I mean, Kubot and Melo are pretty. You know, they're, they're solid as hell, aren't they? Yeah. So, Misha Zverev, you know, good at the Neds. Alexander, that's a huge serve. So, always going to be a tricky he'll combination. Be, he'll be in first round, though, Zverev. Yeah, but by courage. Yeah. Apparently, they're saying he's still not maybe a hundred percent fully fit. Obviously, it was his hamstring which he pulled out to the French. But um, yeah, I was surprised. I must admit, I think I picked him to win, and I will keep picking him to win. Although I did pick. Well, should we move on to <sighs> Queens? Queens, one of the best tournaments in the world. So Paul and myself were fortunate to play there in November, and it was spectacular. It was spectacular, wasn't it? When, when and I'd they, love to see it done up. I think we, we, were, we were lucky as well, because it was stunningly beautiful in November. It actually was. Yeah. <laughs> we actually uh, had good weather in the UK. So right? it was like you're looking out onto the courts, and it's just, it's just pristine and... Yeah, yeah it, you know, it certainly wasn't like the Calderstones Park tournament. Oh, you're yeah. having to move the turds off the floor. And stuff I love the Calderstones. I love the Calderstones. Yeah. Maris Silic, so again, my pick, came through the tournament. I, every, I think it was perfectly set up for him because nobody talked about him. He was the number one seed. Everyone was looking at Kyrgios, Murray, Djokovic, Vavrinka. He just kind of swept through the draw and killed everybody. I, he didn't kill everybody, but, well, but you know... I think that's the thing with Silic. He's kind of like a very quietly quiet guy, and really nice guy actually as well. I might I might put a favour for Wimbledon. Well, well, we've got to do our podcast. No, that's not today. That's for yeah, another. That's, but that's gonna you be know, he's semi finalist finalist. When, when, when we when we're gonna have to do that? Because we usually do the, the we do it on a Monday. The tournament we can starts. Make time. We can make time. So, so that'll be next Monday. Yeah, we yeah. can do next Monday. We can do it because uh, we by the time that we well, get at least out, see the draws. Yeah. yeah. So um, okay. So and then uh, in the doubles. Kuba and Mello, <laughs> Continent and Piers beat Murray and Suarez. Yeah, British finalists, that's always a good thing. Continent and Piers finally found a little bit of form. They have been dreadful this year. They have been absolute pants. It seems, uh, it looks like they've had a little bit of a break, play with a couple of different people. I think, you know, Piers well, has maybe stepped out the game a little bit, is that right? Well, well Continent's, uh, Continent's kind of breakthrough came at Wimbledon, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, with uh, with Heather. Oh, yeah, of course. So yeah, yeah, I mean, he he's he you know he likes the grass anyway, and he's got a big big game, big serve. So yeah, other than that, I mean, I think Queens was was great. Uh, the final, I, I had arguments with this on on social media. You might have seen the the crowd was not oh, yeah. there. Right, you were se you were selling tickets for a hundred and twenty pounds for the Tuesday. That's crazy, isn't it? Tuesday. I mean, come on! What is yeah, but that's only because to? of Muzzer and surely. I don't care. No, I agree. That shouldn't be. Those tickets went on sale way before. Murray when you, was cons even in when the you draw. consider Wimbledon is probably twenty or thirty pounds at the beginning of the week. It's not now. It's it's more than that. That's the ground pass I'm talking about as well. But it's, ground pass, which is better than you just see amazing tennis. Seriously, one hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah, that's. Are we going back to the days where tennis is now just a rich man sport? I thought we'd moved on. Yeah, from that. no, I agree. You know, and I'm sorry, Queens, but there was uh, there was one of the stands quite high up. There was a huge section that no one was there, and everyone said, "Oh yeah, it was it was it was packed." What are you saying? But then somebody said it was the World Cup. <laughs> they would have put the World Cup on. As Go well. to a school, get them in. 
Open the doors, throw some half price stuff on, get people to experience the game. Don't just rather take nobody, which just annoys me senseless. And they're so clever. Some of you, when you think, oh yeah, it was a packed stadium, you know, I'll throw Dubai in there, say sometime maybe. They're very clever with camera angles. Just remember this, they're very clever with camera angles. When you're viewing the court, you don't see what's going on high up and they say it's packed. It, it wasn't, man. It's a big shame. That tournament should be... Yeah, there shouldn't be one. Day. There should not be one empty seat. No. Uh, d disappointing, UK. I'm sorry, uh, Queens. You're a wonderful tournament. But don't rip everybody off. Come on. Yeah. Um, Birmingham. Birmingham. Over to the ladies. Super strong tournament. Again, I, I, I won't lie. I watched a majority of Queens and a little bit of Halle. And very little. <laughs> I didn't watch a little Birmingham. bit of Birmingham. Okay. Just a highlight, unfortunately. Now, I I'm going to preempt Steve saying, I called Kvita. He didn't. Uh, but I did call Ribera Kova. Yeah, she lost. I called Kvita, but she won. Okay. And what did you just ask me? Where's Ribera Kova from? <laughs> so that's the thing. He doesn't even know who she is, and I called her. And like, you're she's you. Czechoslovakian, isn't she? she? Yeah, well done. See, I knew. Of course I know who she is. Uh, by the way, there's no such thing as Czech, the Czech of Zavakia, and it's Czech Republic. All the same to me. <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's the Strawberries. U Yugoslavian. No, sort but, of yeah, Kabitova, again, let's be honest, she's going to be a front runner for Wimbledon. Big game, big serving. She can take the ball early, hold, hold the baseline quite well. For me, she's the favourite. By a mile, I think she's the favourite because she's won it twice. She when she when she's on, she's unbelievable. Yeah, um, I put her as the favourite. I would probably say. Well, this week will be interesting with um, Eastbourne. It's a strong draw, so let's see who Eastbourne's maybe picks up massive, massive. I'm surprised. Yeah, no, let's see who picks up a little bit of form this week. Obviously, going into the big one, uh, Babos and Mladenovic beat Mertens and Shush. I wanted Mertens to win. I wanted Mertens to win as well, and Shush. And then over to Mallorca. Where the water don't taste like what it ought. Um, where we had Tatiana Maria. Have you ever heard the song Santa Maria? Oh, oh. I love that song. Shout out to the 1980s. I don't, I don't know if it was. That I was long. born in the late 80s. Yeah. Believe I, it or not. Were you? 88. 88. I'm only 30. Can you believe this specimen is only 30? Yeah, you are so ugly. I've said before, tough paper round, kids. Tough paper round. Um, but yeah, Tatiana Maria. Don't know anything Beat, about Mallorca uh, next. Beat Sarah Rubbish tournament. Let's move on. Don't know anything about Mallorca. Apart from that, I was training there. Okay, but Tatiana Maria beats Sevastoza or Sevastova. Uh, and yeah. Klepak and Martinez beat Safarova and Stefkova. Strong doubles. Who's Steph Kimmer? Don't know her, who she is, but. Oh, neither do I. Never yeah. heard of her. So uh, over. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, so, something which I wanted to touch on, because I, I have a bit of a rant later, surprise, surprise, um, is that uh, there was a lot of social media posts from players that you know, how, they obviously know they've got no chance at Wimbledon. Keep going. And I'm sure you've seen the same. Who, who in particular? I don't, Stevens? I don't want to name names, but uh, Serena Fognini. <laughs> oh, Fognini, yeah. He's just, I mean, he, wasn't he, he on a beach drinking he, beer the other day? Drink, on a beach, beach drinking beers, thinking, yeah, I hate the grass, it's for cows. And uh, and yeah, he, he, I mean, I think he must have had a couple of goes on the grass. I just think it's, well, yeah, I, there's quite a few people who haven't even bothered playing any matches, they're just going to go in. Like the South Americans, they've gone into hiding for the next like, well, three weeks. I don't, I don't think uh, I don't think uh, Cabal and Farah played on grass at all. Um, I was looking at they're playing uh, this week, though, no? Yeah, they're playing this they're week. Playing they're this week. Yeah. They've got uh, I don't, Monica Puig, who started travelling over last week. So Sloan, yesterday, Sloane Stevens has been doing photo shoots in America. Um, Serena's been on the beach. Serena, Serena's going to win the whole thing. What are you saying? Do you reckon they're going to see her? That's that's later. Okay, that's come to the Wimbledon podcast. No, no, that's... that's Are you going to do that today? No, well, oh, I don't know, it depends on this. You're telling us about time. We're doing uh, oh, okay. We've done 20 minutes. Oh, Jesus. No, I think we've okay, done so, minutes. so um, we're on now to Eastbourne and Antalya in, uh, in uh, Turkey. Well done. Excellent. Eastbourne, yeah, I think we just said Eastbourne, fantastic club on the south coast of England. I'm sure we both played there. Beautiful venue, beautiful courts. 
Very windy, so expect some crazy results because whenever wind plays a factor, you never know what you're going to get. But I like the wind, so we I got obviously an outstanding first match in Vavrinka and Murray. Again, I'm almost sure they fix a draw for Murray. Getting Kyrgios in the first round, who's not a grinder, so he knows he's not going to play too many long rallies. Getting Vavrinka, who just hits the ball 9 million miles an hour, who again, he's not going to grind. Come on. Come on, that draw has been fixed just to ease him in. I'd just like to say for the record that I do not think it's fixed at all and I don't, I don't question any of the officials over in the UK. So he knows. Um, but, um, okay, so, so yeah, but I mean, to be honest with you, I, I get the feeling when it comes to these events, this one, the week before, the, 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 the winners of the tour, the ones who win it, basically know they've got no chance. They of don't want to win. Yeah, yeah, I know they, they want to get a couple of matches and then bugger off. Yeah, and get, it's like, get to it's, Wimbledon. It's kind of it sounds really bad. This week is exhibition stuff. This week is practice. Don't get injured. Win a few matches. Just get some feel on on the courts and then get ready. Get yourself prepared for because yeah, you don't want to be winning on Sunday and playing on Monday. Even though it's only a short drive away, so they don't have to travel. But as silly as that sounds, you know. Okay, now time for my favourite bit of the of the. Oh, uh, you're not going to do that same saying, are you? It's rewatch. What's going on here? Rewatch. Alicia, at, I don't know how you do it. It's red, white, and blue. <laughs> Croatia watch. We should do a Croatia watch. The football, the tennis. Oh my God! Dominating. Do a, hang on, should we do a Serbia watch? How do they do against Switzerland? They lost, and everyone's happy about it. Switzerland are a good team now. I don't yeah. know why they thought they were going to win. They're number six in the world. It was actually a really good match. It was a very, very good match. And Serbia were tried. And, well, Shakiri and, uh, and uh, Shaka. Uh, don't do it, don't do it. Because I was going to do it as well. I'm don't not going to do, do it. I'm not going to do it. But I don't think they should be fine for doing it. I mean, God, yeah, just, just, yeah. I love eagles. They're my favourite animals. And flags as well. Um, I thought it was Wakanda forever as well. <laughs> I thought that's what they were doing. I wrote it on the group member. I thought they were doing it, yeah, Wakanda forever. But uh, anyway, uh, so Brit Watch. Brit Watch, let's go. Okay, Andy and Kyle got nicked. They got nicked. The big man himself, Nick Kiros, seemed like he hated every minute of playing against them as well, but still thought he'd win. Charismatic, fun. We'll talk so about So funny. We'll so talk about funny. it in a, in, a, in a little bit. See the water thing. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay. Cameron got stand. Stanimal. Stanimal. Jay got queried. Okay, they're starting to go downhill a little bit. Yeah. Sam Query, even though I absolutely hate his forehand, he's a good player on grass. Uh, Dan got frogged <laughs> by Manorino. <laughs> Yeah. We got to the semis. I told you he's good on grass. Yeah, I'll give you that. You never listen to me. Kyle and Neil got to the semis and lost to Continent and Piers. Although that's not what I've written there. Um, Kyle and Neil. Kyle Edmonds and Neil Skupski. Got oh, to sorry, the semis. I, I thought you said Ken and Neil. I was going to say they're not playing together. Yeah, fantastic. Very happy for Neil. Even when he repeated it to me, he went Kyle and Neil. Okay, so yeah, they got they got they got beaten by uh, Continent and Piers. <laughs> Walter <laughs> and Heather. Uh, he made a mistake then. Walter and Heather got killed by the Czechs who won the French Open and Sydney over. Just too strong. Like. strong good to see. Good to see Heather back. Katie Bolter is making a little push. Obviously, she's being helped giving the wild cards. Let's just see. I just hope we don't do that British thing where they get given the wild cards and they just come on. Let's yeah. turn these into wins. Take come the money on. And run. Well, I'm sure they're not <laughs> taking the money, but. Yeah. I don't want them to just think, ah, oh, I've got my 50,000 for the next two month, next month. Let's just, don't go and enjoy it. Go and win. 50,000? Well, obviously, Wimbledon first round is 36,000 pounds. Is it? Yeah. Wow, I just think that's like a full-time job for like everybody. Yeah, so for, so that's, for more, that's like a lot more. It's almost 50% more than the average wage in the UK just to go and lose a tennis match. Um, Anna Smith got to the semis in Mallorca. Well done. Well done. I don't um, know why she went. I don't know why she yeah. travelled. Got all those tournaments in the UK, and and you go to Mallorca. I guess she maybe she knew she wasn't going to get the wild cards. Good choice. She, she went. Well, <laughs> yeah, she did okay. Weather's better. Weather's better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Clayton and Brody lost in the semis of Ilkley, One our favourite tournament, tournament in the north. Yeah. I reckon. 
My favourite northern tournament for sure. Yeah, um, that yeah, and the northern, up funnily enough. Yeah, it's up there. Okay, a beautiful venue behind the hills in Yorkshire. In the yeah, Yorkshire. One of my least favourite counties, but one of my favourite tournaments. <laughs> and that's the end of Britwatch. Britwatch. Oh, except obviously Jamie Murray winning the uh, sorry runner up in anything yeah. but we don't mention. I know. So we've got a few Brits this week, but we won't talk about them. We'll see how well they get on. Okay, and so moving on to the the, the big news of the week. Okay, the, you haven't seen this side, which I do on purpose to make sure that it's more sort of like he likes to get my fresh okay. input. So, kicker got kicked out for six years. Good, he should be banned for longer. It's awful, isn't it? I mean, YouTube it, please YouTube yeah, it, people. What is he? I mean, he's been top hundred in the world on and off for quite a while. Um, just that's a that I reckon that's the, one of the biggest cases you think in terms of high profile player. Yeah, I know not many of you might not know who he is. Obviously, YouTube him, just Google Nicholas Kicker. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I mean, do you want to talk a bit more? Yeah, just, I mean, basically, if you didn't really know, then lower down the scale, we've talked about it on podcasts, lower down the rankings, there is a huge, huge. Poison, cancer, whatever you want to say. Toxic where, situation. Yeah, toxic situation where because these guys aren't earning enough money, they are falling foul of scumbag gamblers and stuff and, you know, the mafias. Wow, well, I was going to say, we break it off say it's the mafia quite essentially. And they're, try, and they're basically offering them, you know, amounts of money to throw matches, to serve double faults at certain times, to do this, this, this. And unfortunately, because... These guys are struggling to make ends meet. They they do it, and you know Nicholas Kicker is probably the highest profile one so far. Mm. Uh, there's been that that report which you you've touched yeah, on yeah. before. It's it's a hell of a lot worse than Nicholas Kicker. I think I it's um, I think it's tennis's. I don't think there's a drug problem in tennis, but this is tennis's drug problem. I think at a high level, at a high level, you know, like obviously drugs are quite rife in sport, but corruption is is quite rife in in lower level tennis. Mm -hmm. I know I've said a few things in the past, but I can't tell everybody what the truth is in a way. I want to. Uh, but I think yeah. this this is a bigger situation than Jeremy. You know I mean? like, like, it's starting to get higher ranked. And let's go be right. So he is like 94 in the world, I believe. This was a few years ago when he was kind of in the mid 200s, I think. Uh, yeah, like struggling say, to make amends and it's your challenger tournament. It's yeah. your, it's your it's your sort of you know you're lower down your 300s, 400s, 500s in the world, and these guys aren't making much more than you know dare I say it, twenty thousand yeah, dollars well, a year. Essentially, they will be offered twenty times more than what they could make in that tournament. And you know, people can get on their high horse about this, and I, I and we spoke about it. Um, but look, I'm, I'm going to put it to you like this: you're you're four hundred in the world. And you're 21 years old. It's really bad, Paul. I, I think I, I can't categorically say I wouldn't do it. Uh, I, 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 we probably come from half similar backgrounds, and it was a struggle. And I know what I could have done with that money. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have just gone and bought a Gucci bag and a new car. In my head, I'm using it for the greater good. Somebody comes up to you. It's bad, you're, isn't it? you're it's three, bad. Like I said, you're 400, 500 in the world, and you are just about to play in a nothing match. You know, it doesn't even have to be a final. First round, for goodness sake, of some challenger in the middle of Back Afghanistan. Yeah. yeah. And somebody comes up to you and says, right, you know, if you win this match, you're going to win $400. But if you throw this match or if you serve two double faults in the fourth game or something like that, we're going to give you $10,000. Sadly, you're probably going to take it. Yeah. Because the other side of it is, is that you think, well, it's in the back end of nowhere. Yeah, it's, you're not going to get know, it. Yeah. Who's going to find out? I can easily show you how it's going to, how you do a double fault and stuff. I can do that. It's yeah. no problem. So uh, people will jump on their high horse. People do, but I think what they need to realize is the bigger problem is not Nicholas Kicker. It's the situation of tennis forcing these players into these situations. So it's not, again, it, it could almost sound like we're defending it. We're, we're not, obviously, it is wrong. You shouldn't do it. But unfortunately, the way tennis is set up and the way the money is spread out, unfortunately, in the top couple of percent, it is forcing a lot of people into a corner where they have no choice but to take, you know, and you've got to remember some of these people, these players are getting threatened because they are in countries where there is corruption, where the policing is not what it is. 
you know, I'm sure you know countries we're speaking of. So you know, if you've got somebody coming up to you going, right, you know, if you don't do this, we're going to beat you up, steal your money, steal your clothes, steal your kit. You know, there's, gonna, there's a lot of situations like that. So don't just think, ah, oh, he's a cheat, 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 cheat. Okay, he's branded it now. He's got his six years, unfortunately. But like I say, it is wrong. But unfortunately, the way tennis is set up at the moment, there's a bigger issue at hand. And we're not advocating what he's done. No, not at all. It's just you have to be a little bit more productive with your opinions on it. And you know, like I said, you know, just just picture it. Imagine you've been on tour for three or four years, and the maximum you've earned is like twenty thousand dollars. If you probably if spend a hundred thousand traveling the world, and now you don't. You know, all this talk I hear all the time. You've probably heard it all the time. I hear all these people saying, oh, I would have made it if I, would, if I had a sponsor. If Get I had real. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work like that. I could, I could say if I didn't have knee operations, I wouldn't. You don't know. You can't say just, I, that annoys me more than anything. Oh, I true. would have made it. My friends are playing 200 in the world. You might just not have been good enough. <laughs> and it, it's, it's I, I, I genuinely empathize with Kicker. I think that he, you know, like I said, yeah, I know, you YouTube yeah. it and it's, it's really bad. It's so obvious that he's done it. But what he should have done, in my opinion, is he should have alerted somebody. He should have took the and money then, and then alerted somebody. No, no, he should have, he should have alerted. He should have alerted somebody before the match and said, "Look, you know, I, I'm in this predicament." But like I said, it's just it's, it's so easy. Somebody's going to turn around to you and give you ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars. You know, fifty thousand dollars. Your whole season is sorted. Yeah. That's the, you know, and just imagine, and, and again, I've not been there, I've been nowhere near that level, but imagine that you are a struggling ATP, WTA professional, and somebody gives you, gives you $50,000, and you just think, right, well, no pressure now, I can, yeah. I know I can get round, well, I, can, I can get round the circuit, etc. I'm going to be able to pick up points. And all of a sudden, everything changes. Yeah. So I can guarantee you, know, these ATP and WTA players, you know, going from experience, are going into these matches thinking about: I need money to pay for my hotel bill tonight. I need money to eat. I need money to my restring. It's not the quite the right mentality you're trying to go in with. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, that is the reality of the situation at the moment. Is that when they're going into the matches, it's yeah, it's it's pure survival. Maybe we should try and get somebody like Omar on the show. Uh, I wonder if, um, like, uh, what's his name, uh, Simon Roberts? Yeah, I guess uh, Simon in. Because obviously, you know, 500 in the world. I wonder how much Sergio even knows. Yeah, he well, was, Sergio he was 600 yeah. in the world as well. So, you know, these guys, I'm sure, must have must have seen something happening. I mean, maybe less so Sergio because he's my generation, so it probably wasn't as rife. Yeah, Simon. Um, si Simon near, young, younger than you, isn't he? So, I'm trying to think who's here. Omar, Omar, I'm trying to think who's here. Again, okay, anyway, we can sort that out. We can sort that one out. Well, but might, we might have another special guest which he doesn't know about yet, but I'll tell him off uh, Rob Koenig. Oh, Robert Koenig. Yeah. I like Robert Koenig. speaking to him so when he comes over it's like come on he's always like I was, around the goal. I was speaking to him I was speaking to my best mate oh, God. right got, got two my, messages next bit of news okay Nick Kyrgios was fined $23,000 for a sexually <laughs> motivated gesture with a bottle shouldn't laugh Steve and I uh, is that what it got fined? I didn't even know it was that years, much. Yeah, twenty That's a joke. Steve and I the tongue didn't have, help. have potty humour. <laughs> we are terrible. I when I saw it on Facebook, I tagged him and I was laughing my head off. Alright, so I will openly say I thought it was hilarious. I'm trying was, to not crack up so, here. It was so inappropriate. It was, that it it was, was uh, the moment kind of just got to me because I just thought <laughs> he's, he's what is he thinking about? He's playing Why is he Queens and he's doing that? Um, well, I think his uh, his girlfriend was over, wasn't she? She's lost. Uh, no, well, whatever. Look, it was wrong. It, I understand it was wrong. He should no, have. No, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you. It wasn't wrong. Oh come on, that's pushing it too far. Right. So Deadpool can go and do it in a film ten times worse, and everyone laughs. But under 18s they're not supposed to go and watch that. You've got me, well done. Yeah, but I just think, guys, just <laughs> being silly. It was silly humour. I haven't seen too many people actually knocking it. 
I've seen most of the people on social media um, <laughs> I, I, laughing about it. I've seen comments of classless and he's a disgrace and he's... Uh, look, you know... It all... Everybody knows it goes on, especially male humour. I'll probably put that in there a little bit. It can be like that. Um, okay, maybe not, but he's not... He's in a small, smallish tournament, you know. Queen's the smallish, is it? Not all of the eyes <laughs> were on him. I, I thought it was really bad. Um, um, I'm laughing my head off. He shouldn't have done it. Um, but you know, again, I'm going to say the same thing. He, he's entertainment. He never made... change ever. Please yeah. God, don't ever change. Yeah, we, we, what we should do is we, what should, would we, talk we should about? create a charity should... for him so that it pays all the fines. We should do. I think we actually just yeah, we could actually. Yeah. Just, I mean, go fund me or something. Yeah, go fund me or all the all my mistakes. But look, I mean, yeah, it was wrong. If you watch the the Kyrgios versus Murray match, oh. they had to turn the microphones off. Like both of them, both men, both of them, they had to turn it off. So basically, when you were watching it, all you heard was, and they then faded out. The faded time. out. All you could hear is the commentators. You couldn't really hear anything. It was, no, not the, usually you can hear the walk. In Murray, Murray's got. Well, I'm sure some people know he's got a bit of a mouth on him as well. He's quite a funny guy off the court. Uh, some things that he says, as is Roger. I, but I, I, the Kyrgios match, I mean, just, there were certain things that were said throughout the match, and you know, people say he's classless, okay? And okay, who cares? He's a, he's a kid, yeah, still. Well, well, but who cares? I mean, who, who are these? Are they the Queen of England? I mean, yeah. Shut, shut <laughs> yeah, classless, really? I mean, Stop just, comparing him to Roger, or everybody to Roger, you know, who is no angel. Yeah, okay? Rod, Roger used to be throwing his rackets all over the place, etc., etc. Oh, I'd love to tell a story about him, but no, I couldn't. You can't. I couldn't. Um, but you know, Kyrgios, he, he put bums on seats. The match against Murray was weird. I would mess with you. Yeah, message unfortunately you couldn't see it. But. Uh, the Carl Edmund one was just a joke, how, how good it was. Is that um, the one where he sliced seven forehands in a row? Yeah. Genius. <laughs> genius. I, saw, I saw it, but yeah, genius. He just doesn't care, but then he'll, he, then he'll just burst out and do another, do another great point. He beat the defending champion, Lopez. Uh, and then he'll he, take some beating. He'll and he, some and beating. he lost in tie breaks to Silic. Yeah. So, you know, he's... I don't know. I love him. You know, we know we always hero worship him, but uh, we definitely need to start a separate Kyrgios segment. Yeah. Even just a five minutes something each week. What's you, he doing? You you got nicked. You got nicked. That's, you got that, nicked. That's it. Like that. So yeah, Nick we do with our with our with our with our Cockney accents. You got nicked. Uh, right. Well, look, Steve. I've I've got another thing I want to discuss, but I think we need we're to rambling on a bit. We, yeah, we need to stop this one now. Uh, we'll, what are we going to we'll say a... quickly, though? I can... Really? How long is it going to be? I'm pissed off. Why? I'll say it, Steve. I'm pissed off. I just I woke up this morning and saw the wild card draws for Wimbledon. I've been on course in six. I so you haven't seen them, okay? So I'm really angry about this. Go on, quickly go. I won't look at the names either. Okay, so first. there are four names that are in qualies for Wimbledon. They're, so they're playing over at Roehampton, yeah. who have been... Uh, uh, They've not been brought into the wild cards. Four wild card p p places have been just left. They're just the highest people in the draw. Okay. So four people have been accepted for wild cards at Wimbledon. Okay. Right. So these four people, have, in my opinion, have been accepted. haven't. haven't and okay. I can't believe that these four people don't deserve an a, 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 another chance at yeah. Wimbledon. Dare I say? Well, I know one name. I'm bringing up straight. To right. Me, but. I'm going to go with the with the least the person who deserves it the least, and I'm going to do, go down to the, deserve it the most. So, Kokinakis should be in there. Should have been given a wild card, in my opinion. Can't believe that you would just give it to some random 122 in the world, whatever yeah. he is. He's been injured. He's come back. Be Federer picked up some results. Yeah. Big so, mistake, I think. Sorry, all. all England club, you're wrong. Right. Next one. Uh, uh, like I said, in order of, of my opinion, Evans. Well, that's the name I was thinking of. How on earth... They stuck him in the pre-qualifying. How can you not give Evans a chance under the circumstances? I know you're saying about me, you, you didn't give it to Sharapova and stuff. The donkeys that you've given wild cards to in the past, yeah. get a grip. You gave even Isovich one. Sorry. You gave me. Alex Bogdanovich five. 
You gave Bogdanovich five, and what did he do win one match at Wimbledon? Really? I know you've got this policy now of if they're not in the top 250 of the world, etc., etc. Dan Evans should be Dan there. Evans got to the third or fourth round of the US Open. He's got he's done he's done he's won like well. 14 out of 16 matches or something. Yeah. It's something crazy. Again, you're wrong. Right, the next one. That's annoyed me actually. Nicholas Mahu. Okay, he, so he, he is he is fifty percent of the most legendary yeah. match at Wimbledon ever. Yeah, longest match in history, 70-68 in the fifth set, John Isner. He's just won the doubles in Paris. Really? You're I'm not, I, 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 don't, I don't mind that. Uh, and, he's, and he's a great servant volley. Yeah, he's, a, he's, actually, he's actually got... He's a good player. Yeah. All right, and then finally, my fourth one, who I cannot believe they've put him in qualies. Okay? And he's probably the worst player, by the way, of all these. Dustin Brown. No. <laughs> you are joking. Qualies. Dustin that, Brown is how, in qualies. How, because they take last year's results and 50% of the year before. Uh, so surely, I mean, the guys, Nadal, all those, my curious. That is a joke. That is a joke. I just have no idea what your thought process is for that. That I really think, is bad. It's, it's four players who I believe put bums on seats. Mahu, Mahu I'm not bothered about, but the other three should be in there. Mahu should get a... I almost did. Mahu should get a flipping wild card every year until he dies. Because him and Isner yeah. provided... We were watching it the other day. I was watching it with my wife last night. I was showing her a bit of it. Okay, I, get... I, I, I sort of see where you're coming from, but to me, that's maybe not quite enough. Chris Wilkinson got a wild card <laughs> when he was 74 no years old. No one knows who that is, though. Exactly. And what did he do? He, uh, he got beat. Oh, I he, okay, Chris Wilkinson. He's a le- you know, even people are like, sorry, sorry, I'm going to say this, but Jeremy Bates and so Oh, like, Batesy. Yeah, I mean, yes, you were great, etc., etc. as a new British number one. You won the Malaysia Open. Well done. Um, yeah, teach me how to volley, Jeremy Bates. Great. Yeah, it didn't work but, well. But, you know, I'm sorry. I'm so angry about Dustin this. Brown and Evans, for me... I, they, they should be in there. They really should be there. That Dustin Brown is the biggest one of the lot. And, and what makes it worse? I wonder but if, they go on that to two years' results. I I'm, don't understand. I'm sorry, Goran. I don't know why I had a picture of Goran there. You're right. But we shouldn't have done this bit. We shouldn't have done this. <laughs> I told you it was going to go We're over. We're getting the 45-minute mark sign. I'm it's sorry. A, it's, a ball, it's a draw out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where's the wild card bit? My apologies for my lack of knowledge. I said I've been up early throwing in some hours with some t- good, good players. It? I had it on. I had it on. Oh, you Next ass. time. We're, all, we're going into our Wimbledon podcast here. Really? Yeah. We? we can go next time. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Right. In the Look at the women's. Right. Look at those women's. Ons Jabur. Why? Yeah. Not with that. I love Ons. She's lovely. Who's that? Teresa Smitkova. Gabriella Tabor, T- uh, Taylor. Katie Swan. Ons Jabur. Katie Dunn, Harriet Dart, Naomi Brody, and Katie Balter. I mean, Are you joking? Look at that. Direct entry. N- direct acceptance. You. This is a joke. I, I would have those guys over Serge guys. Dennis Kudler, because he got to the semis. Sergei Stokowski. He's just won Ilkley, right? But you, so you're going to give Stokowski, who has done nothing in the game. He won't do anything. Since he, lost, since he beat Federer. Yeah. Right? He, what, he did, beat Federer. did he? Didn't he beat Federer? Nobody knows him anyway, it doesn't matter. He'd be Federer, I'm sure he'd be Federer at Wimbledon. Dustin Brown should be ahead of those guys. I mean, Jay Clark. I mean, are you having a laugh? I don't mind Jay Clark. No, I don't, I don't mind the British, British but don't leave four empty yeah. places. I mean, Jesus. Who are, they, who are they hoping for? Murray, oh. obviously one, to, to see if he's going to play. But they're going to see him. Well, that's another one. Well, are probably. they? So they're waiting for Murray, maybe waiting for Vavringa. I don't know about Del Potro's scene as well. But they would be seated. They would be. Del Potro would be seated anyway. I think it wouldn't yeah, be seated. Del Potro is not, not a problem. But, the, but what they'll do is that they they basically don't get used. But then what will happen is that when somebody pulls out, they can just slide in these guys. But if you lose in the qualies, can you still get a wild card? Yes, I think so. Okay. But uh, seriously, Wimbledon. If that's it, if if you you there are four names there. I cannot believe you've done that. I'm gutted. I'm really angry about it. So there we go. Let me get the picture of that gentleman. Oh. 
Look at that. Look what happens when you give the right people yeah. wild cards. This is what happens when you give somebody with history a, a wild Croatian card. hero. Legend. Legend of the game. Where's it from? Croatia! Very quickly, because I say we are rambled on a little bit. At least he's given us the old eyes. No, I'm only joking. Um, England are going to win the World Cup. Come on, we are going to win. And I'm not saying it just because we thrashed Panama, one of the top nations in the competition. I just believe a young team, hungry for success. Everyone else is rubbish. So that's why I think we've got a good opportunity. I'm praying for Colombia versus uh, England in the so second high. round. For uh, different reasons. My house is going to be a disaster at that point. Uh, uh, Trippier, could you do me a favor? Could you never, ever show me where your barber is? Because that <laughs> hair is the worst. You did it yourself. Uh, I actually genuinely believe... Alicia my, thinks Germany are going to win. My wife thinks Germany's going to win. Listen, why not? Do you Purely because she likes Sebastian Vettel. It's weird. Uh, for me, Croatia and England have looked the most impressive. Yeah. I Although think, England were against a crappy team. I think we're um, going to thrash Belgium on Thursday. I, no, I, I think that's going to be a win for Belgium or a draw. It'll be a board draw because it's Premier League be Premier League in a way, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so we'll see. But I think... But I, actually, I would bring Belgium into that. Belgium looked impressive yeah. against Tunisia as well. So my my th top three teams, top four teams at the moment are, dare I say, England, uh, Croatia, definitely. Uh, that was, they were incredible. Mexico? Uh, no. Colombia? Uh, no, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is amazing. Because Portugal are crap, but he's amazing. So Best ever. Yeah. He's out there on his own at the moment. Sorry, Lionel. Have you seen the hate he's getting in Argentina? But, oh my God, if he doesn't score, he's, he ain't going to be allowed back in. Do you know, do you know something though? I'm like, oh, so One, we're he's gonna, a bit Maradona. We're, we're going to get shouted at here for, for being looking at this. He's, go, look, he's getting the cat thing out how long we're over. No. Okay. Right, here's one. There was a, a Canadian guy who came on, came on, did a, did a, uh, th a, a spot on TV, yeah. and he was going mental about people saying about how uh, Messi is the greatest ever, and, uh, and he was like, he's a fraud, he's a fraud. And I was like, geez, look what I watch it. He actually made a really good point, which is that Messi was winning everything when he had Xavi and Iniesta behind him. Ever since that that Barcelona two have been split, well, NES is gone now as well. Yeah, but Messi has done well. There's no question. But if he doesn't have those guys behind him, Busquets and whatnot, yep. he does not deliver. No, I agree. And actually, there is a point there. Whereas I, we could score twenty goals in that team. Whereas the and I hate saying this, but Ronaldo. I mean, Michael Carrick, people like that behind <laughs> him. I mean, you know, that's the that's the difference. You know, he, he's had. Donkeys behind him, and the past. Yeah. I mean, yes, he's with Ronaldo, with Real Madrid right now. But you know, when he was at Man United, and he was taking over as well. I mean, yeah, yeah he was called Phil I, Neville. I mean, you know, Everton legend, legend. <laughs> yeah, there was a very, very quickly. There was a really good video on YouTube about how you know Messi, some of his greatest goals, they always come in games where they're like three 0 up or at home to Getafe. He, so I know he scored some big goals. Don't get me wrong, but. You know, whereas Ronaldo always turns up and he drags his teams through, his country through. For me, he's one of the best ever, if not maybe the no, best ever. I, 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 this World Cup right now is, is making me... I, I've always been in Messi's corner, always. Um, it's just shown it. This is... this Settled the debate. Yeah, I think, I think, I think Ronaldo is, is better. Anyway, <laughs> we, we've gone way past... Uh, this is going to go mental. Uh, thank you very right. much for, for for subscribing, for listening to our rants. Yeah. Um, Follow us on Instagram at Strong Too Tight. Keep if, commenting. If you, tips of the day. Yeah, I was going to say if you've got anything you want us to do tips of the day on, we've even had some. There was one. Yeah, Adam, uh, one of my ones to do about, uh, some about some injuries. Injuries. Okay. So we'll tr we'll try and touch on a few of them. Yeah. If you suggest it, we'll do it. I mean, we're we're trying to but trying to do our best. I keep on getting asked about about sort of a, a racket advice and things like that, but I don't want to bore everybody because well, it's not for everybody. I don't think it's boring, actually. I, I won't lie, I'd probably get asked more about that. All right, okay. Cool. Because no one knows about it. That's the thing, nobody knows anything, I'm so. To watch the flipping podcast. No, but we're going to do some oh, courses. Geez. Cool. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy the World Cup, and uh, we'll have our Wimbledon update next week. Come on, England. Go on, England. Go on, England. And Croatia, the second greatest country in the world.